the relationship was already done before it was over. And next time I go to this crib, I'm 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 fighting like I, I can't keep holding it off like I can't keep being scary. If you don't stop talking to me, like I'm gonna cause a scene in this train station. It's giving when a narcissist realizes they no longer have control over you. This is what they do. Why do you think that you can just stop me from going home and take my personal belongings with you? I think I lie for you. I think I die for you. Sure to cry for you. Don't think when you call me too. I control all of you. Control all of Hey everybody, it's your girl Lisi and I am back again with another epic, juicy, ghetto, drama filled and chaotic story. Um, bitch, you better chill out. Okay, y'all. Y'all seen a little introduction just now. Um, don't mind me. I'm just getting ready for big J.A., big yard yeah, yeah. teams, big Jamaica, big 25, big 25, and T minus 90. So your girl was just decided I wanted to, um, you know, have y'all see a little bit of my personality. And that's a song that's in my playlist. Hence, y'all see me singing the words if I even edited that in or whatever. If y'all want, like, um, do y'all like those types of videos where people do, like, oh, my updated playlist or whatever the case may be, hot box? Because I could do one of those because I'll put y'all onto the heatery. And I's a Trini. I's a Trini girl. Somebody asked me if I was Jamaican. No, I'm a Trini, you know. I'm a Yankee, but, you know, I'm, I'm a Caribbean girl, Caribbean cutie. Anyways, y'all see the Oh, you know what? Let me just point this out from now, which... Somebody is probably gonna notice. These two curls is not cooperating. Like this one somehow is longer than this one. It is what it is. I'm leaving it like that, okay? So I don't need nobody saying nothing to me. This is how it's staying, okay? As y'all can see by the title, this is my narcissistic ex part six, okay? Now, if you haven't watched parts one through five, okay, just go ahead and watch them because you're gonna be real confused yeah okay now everyone that's coming from part five i'm assuming you're coming from part five right i told y'all there was going to be a part 5a meaning the first part that y'all seen part five part five was supposed to be part 5a and this was supposed to be part 5b but i scrapped the rest of the footage because it was like i already told y'all the footage was pushing like it was three hours of footage like let's because that last video was an hour and 50 minutes that's damn near two hours and i had an hour an hour of unedited footage left but i was just like let me scrap it because one that last ending um not the last ending but the last half of the footage or that whatever the case my energy wasn't up because i was tired because i was already sitting here recording for you guys for maybe about two hours okay a little, maybe even a little more than that so my energy was super low i didn't like how i ended out the video i was just over it i was just ending the video just ready to end the video but now your girl got some more energy today as y'all can see you know i'm a little dulled up today y'all was telling me i was still looking this gonna get me tight like i'm not e like stop attaching to my lip bro like the hair need to chill out but anyways do y'all like my hair i installed the wig myself mm. Purr, purr, purr. and you know i got my little lashes on today i got a little brows going on today and some you know the, the girls combo brown lip liner and gloss and some press on nails so you know i'm looking a bit more presentable so i'm like yeah i'm gonna need to record with this wig on because you know she a baddie she knows she a 10 she a baddie we gonna have to figure out what to do with her like yeah let me just move her to the side when you got dsl these are the problems <laughs> you got to deal with all right anyways if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome back what's goody what's poppy what's cracker what's cracking i love y'all oh this is why i love y'all too y'all we hit 3k we hit 
3k and you know to some people they probably like bitch you don't, you don't got a lot of subscribers but to me i, I got a lot of subscribers because y'all i started my channel last august okay we're coming up on a year since i've been a youtuber and within under a year i've accumulated 3,000 plus y'all because we're really at 3.1k we're pushing 3.2k right now but i appreciate everyone that has subscribed to my channel that has watched my videos i appreciate everybody's comments the positive and the negative ones because y'all help me grow okay so i appreciate y'all 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 are doing y'all big one um i love all the commentary that i've gotten on a series because y'all commentary is proof that I was not bugging this entire relationship and I'm I mean I knew I wasn't you know when I decided to pick up the camera and record but now I know I'm not I appreciate y'all roll to 4k roll to 5k roll to 10k roll to 100k mark my words y'all everybody who's here now oh I almost dropped some hold on everyone who's here now y'all see y'all see what it is now mark my words I don't know when but just know this channel is hitting 100k one of these days Period. Okay, what the hell be y'all? Okay, so anyways, that's enough for my intro. Oh, also, if you have a subscriber story time, make sure you send that in. This is the email. Hopefully, part six don't take me too long. I will record a subscriber story time immediately after this. I didn't do that in the last video, obviously, but um, yeah. Anyways, let's get back to where we got where where we left off, y'all. <laughs> let's get back to that. Okay, y'all. So where we left off, let me get my iPad. Oh, it's about to get crazy. Okay, it's about, it's about to get crazy, y'all, okay? So, boom, let me pick up from where I left off. I left off at, <laughs> so boom, me and crazy, he was in a, in a hookah spot or whatever, and he caught me texting wave, he caught me red-handed. But this is how you know I'm not really built to cheat on nobody because I don't even know how to cheat. Well, I wasn't even trying to cheat. I was just engaging in conversation with wave and crazy's crazy ass somehow saw because he was all in my phone. But I'm not gonna tell that story now. That's gonna be actually a bonus story time. So if y'all want the story time of how crazy caught me texting wave, let's get this video to 500 likes. 500 likes and 200 comments if y'all want because that story is crazy y'all that's why i'm having it as a separate story time i can't it's gonna be too much and it's already too much going on in part six y'all it's a lot part six ends with a bang a ba -ba 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 bang crazy okay boom he called me texting wave it was a whole like when i tell y'all it was a whole ordeal yeah okay so now after he called me text and wave crazy you know i guess he doesn't trust me or whatever but it honestly felt like that for a very long time because it's just like you've been accusing me of stuff and i wasn't even doing anything and then woo, you thought fi you finally caught me <laughs> you caught me texting somebody but you got your mistress living in the crib like i don't care like i just didn't get like when he called me i really didn't care i had a i don't give a attitude like i didn't care like because it's like my nigga like you done did all of this stuff and now when you get your take a taste of your own medicine you can't handle it mm, sorry don't know what to tell you when he had caught me texting wave it was like this was a few weeks before i i finally left him like let's say it was either a month or a few weeks it was less it was a month or less than a month before i finally left him because like I said in part five, y'all, the point where I was even entertaining the fact of entertaining another guy and stepping out on my relationship, the relationship was already done before it was over. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, or, or is it over before it was done? Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I told y'all I was formulating an escape plan. I had to figure out how I was going to get out of this situation because it's like, I'm the one that kind of brought myself back into the situation to begin with so boom now crazy is super on my tail like he's super like if i don't answer phone he's he's complaining he's saying something if i take too long to respond he's complaining he's saying something and and da 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 da, -da, -da. boom oh, okay yes so boom let's continuing adding the reasons of why or like these are the things that kind of happened within the final weeks that i was like yo I'm not dealing with this anymore. Like, I can't. So, boom. I already told y'all he was on my back because he seen me text the wave. Also, there was a whole other situation 
that had happened with Fezbo. I think in part five, I had mentioned, like, I had told Crazy I was... Oh, where's my other phone? Y'all, I gotta find my other phone. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, this is my old um, iPhone 8 where I have all the receipts with Crazy on here. So I'm about to charge this up because I'm gonna have to pull this out at a point. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so she's charging up, right? Cause I got hella receipts. All my old text threads is on that phone, okay? So if I need to pull up anything, well not anything, but some stuff. Anyways, okay. So now, <laughs> so now, boom. It was a whole other situation with Fesbo, which that was at the point where I was like, yeah, next time I go to this crib, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting. Like I, I can't keep holding it off. Like I can't keep being scary. It was one day. Mind you, this is the weeks leading up to when I eventually left, right? So it was one day, I was at Crazy's house, and mind you, I told you at this point, I was walking right past Fesbo, didn't give up nothing. And I think Crazy had tried to have a conversation with me, like, oh, Alicia, can you at least say hi when you come over? I'm like, no. Are you dumb? Like, what are you, like, what? Like, you're crazy. Like, literally, you're, literally, can I say hi? When I come over, can you at least address her? I'm not addressing shit. I'm not addressing shit that has to do with fat. Like, no, leave me alone with her. It was one day I was over there, right? And me and Crazy, we were playing the living room, the living room bed at this point. And fat, not Fesbo. Crazy was knocked out sleep next to me. And I was like, I wasn't sitting all the way up, but I was on like an incline and I had an L in my hand. And I was, you know, smoking the L, whatever, whatever. And um, he didn't have a TV in his living room. He had like a projector. The projector was on. And it's like the middle of the night. Fesbo walks out of the room, right? Mind you, the blunt is lit. So it smells like fresh cannabis, right? And Fesbo walks out of the bedroom and turns off the projector. Mind you, I'm sitting here like this and walks back into the room right and i oh so i'm like this bitch must must want some type of problems right did i do anything no i was being scary like whatever it is what it is because honestly it's like it was at a point where i felt like if i was to come at fesbo any type of way like crazy i just felt like Crazy was automatically gonna take her side. He automatically was not gonna give a F about anything that I might have had to say. And I just wanted, I just didn't want to deal with Crazy because I feel like if I would have said something and tweaked on sis immediately, Crazy would have woke up and lashed out on me and it automatically, <clears throat> it automatically would have been like, oh, Alicia is a problem because Muck was already, you know, painting me as the problem to this equation and it's like no i'm not i'm not the problem sorry no so i had told crazy what had happened and i'm like yeah next time i come to your crib i'm popping on her like i don't care which i probably shouldn't have told him i probably should just pulled up and popped on her but whatever and they exchanged some text messages where um and how do i know about the text messages because he sent me screenshots of the text messages but the screenshots was broken up to where it's like you could tell she was saying some shady stuff like she was saying some weird ish and he did not want me to know and, and i'm questioning him like where's the rest of the screenshot da -da -da -da. he's like oh no I'm not about to send you the rest of the screenshot, Alicia, because it's just going to make the problem bigger. And da 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 And I think that's when around the time, too, he was saying the stuff like, oh, it's all this conflict in his house and whatever, whatever. And I'm like, bro, you're the reason. <laughs> you're the reason. You ain't have bitches in a, in a place staying in their lane from day one. So maybe if you had this bitch staying in her lane from day one, we wouldn't be here. But we know he didn't want her staying in no lane because we know he wanted whatever he wanted from me and Fesbo at the same time. Like having his cake and eat it too. Like period, period. So I'm gonna insert like that conversation here. So, cause I have voice notes too that I was reviewing not too long ago where I was cussing him out. I was like, next time I come over, I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking, I don't give a You know what's really got me in a fucked up feeling some type of way right now is the fact that you saying that this bitch is saying she didn't know that it was me who who else would be laying next to you and this is the exact same funny shit that i've been talking about which is why i don't fuck with this situation and why i will never fuck 
with the situation because me personally, even though all of this hoopla and this drama is really because of you and it was all in your control, this bitch contributes funny shit to the equation, funny shit like that. According to what you told me, she knows that I'm your girlfriend. She knows that we're together. So why would it be anyone else laying next to you unless you didn't make that clear? Because that's not the first time you didn't make something clear to her, like me being your girlfriend. Or you really got other bitches in the crib, so what is it? And no, I'm not ever going to say hello to her. I'm not ever going to be quadril. That's never happening. You're never going to get that from me. Why? Because I don't f*** with her. I don't f*** with your relationship. I don't f*** with the situation. I have no respect for it. And I'm amazed that I have tolerated so much from the situation. If you feel like your household is fucked up or you're in a weird place, that's your doings. That's not mine. Because if anyone is fucked up here, if anyone got anyone fucked up here, it's you and that bitch. Y'all got me fucked up. She not saying hello either. She's not saying nothing to me either. So clearly she has her own issue, her own personal issue. And I really could give a fuck. So no, I'm not saying hello. I'm not saying shit. And if she says shit to me and it's out of line, I'm letting you know. I'm spazzing because it's well overdue because I let shit slide when it's come to this bitch. And the only spazzing that I've done was on you. Really, because you're the person who has control in this situation. And based off of the information you told me, the bitch not even paying her part of the rent, what is she there for? No, I don't respect her. I don't respect the situation. You're not my parent, and she's not my parent. Therefore, I will never say anything to this bitch a day in my life. But best believe, if she says something to me out of line, because you know she likes to step out of her lane of being a friend, she don't know how to stay in her fucking place, yeah, I'm a fucking tweet talking about she didn't know it was me who the fuck that's funny shit but you so quick to always be on her side so yeah that how wound up happening right okay cool we are arguing back and forth about this fezbo thing because i had basically um boom i forgot to tell y'all too in the last part you see stuff be coming to my mind right crazy had told me that fezbo was only planning to stay with him for about three to four months right and it's like, it was giving, like, that was, I feel like that was just something that he just fed me for him, for me to just, you know what I'm saying? Because how she was moving, it wasn't giving she was only staying there for three to four months. It was giving, like, she came to New York to move into your crib and that's where she's staying. Why do I say that, right? Because, boom, y'all not gonna believe this. Why was Fesbo paying little to no rent living with crazy? I know you fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and he was swearing up and down. This is she's my roommate. We were roommates before. So why is she living in your crib and not paying any rent? Why did she leave her parents' house in in Georgia to come to New York and live with you and not pay no rent? Cause the bitch was broke and she was a bum. Like let's uh, let's add that in. The bitch was a whole bum. She and, and it's like I, I feel like I was seeing through her because I feel like because she felt like they had whatever type of relationship they had, like she could leech off of him. And I was and she was giving very much leeching off of him vibes, which he didn't see because he was just so whatever. He, he, she had whatever type of love spell she got on that nigga. Like for where he was just letting just letting her bypass with mad stuff and it was just so like irritating. Then it came to a point where then it came to a point where um <clears throat> she she was getting like food stamps or something like that and he was using that as an excuse. He was like Listen Alicia, like she you know, yeah, she might not pay no rent, but we're, we're getting a crib filled with groceries and that's saving me money and all I gotta do is pay the rent and she got the groceries so it's not like she really living here for free Alicia. Da -da. Yes she is. Yes she is. So I was just, again, this is the weeks leading up to when the relationship finally came to an end. I was just getting sick and tired of all this because it's like you have every excuse under the sun as for why Fesbo is figure skating in this bitch. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm, I'm just getting tired and aggravated, aggravated, okay? It even came to a point where I remember, like, regarding, like, this 
this specific topic right here. I remember I was in an Uber pool one day. That's when Uber pool was still a thing before the Rona. You know what I'm saying? Or no, before the um the scamdemic, let's say that, because you know I, I ain't trying to get flagged or nothing. I was cursing him out in Uber, very embarrassing, arguing with him in Uber. Um, I remember I was arguing with him at work when I was at Applebee's. Like, y'all, like when after he caught me texting wave, I was all types of sluts, whores, skanks. I was everything under the sun but a child of God when he see me texting Wade. So I remember it was one day like me and him was arguing like literally right before I went to go clock in at work. And it was like I blocked his phone number but the messages were still coming through and that was getting me tight too because it's just like now I gotta turn off my phone so I don't wanna see your messages. I had to step out of work and cry. Like it was becoming like I was just like I, I like I was getting tired. Like I, I couldn't do it. Even one of my um co-workers who's actually both of them they're both ops at this point story times down the line they came outside to check on me and see if i was good because i was really like crying before my i didn't even clock in yet and i'm over here crying having a crying fest so boom okay now at this point um when i'm gonna give y'all a little bit of what kind of happened when he called me text and wave actually when he basically called me text and wave he told me i had to text wave and tell him that i was out with my boyfriend <laughs> Now that's how you clear a bitch. So that's all I'm gonna tell ya, girl, and that was a hot mess. But to make the long story short, Wave didn't really care that I had a boyfriend, which makes sense why, I mean, we didn't really have a relationship, but it makes sense why the situation with me and Wave didn't even go anywhere because I did start messing around with him. I was with him, you know what I'm saying? I told you I was, I was bagging him, fuck. <laughs> It didn't really go nowhere because I really feel like, because he probably felt like, oh, I'm just a girl that out here cheating on her man. But it's like, Wave, if you're watching this, like, are you mad that I was even entertaining conversation with you? Like, who wouldn't after parts one through five? And now we're on part six. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't come to a breaking point and be like, you know what? F this shit. Like, now, um, even though Wave know that I have a boyfriend or whatever, um, and mind you, again, this is all weeks before I eventually broke up with Crazy, right? I'm still smoking with Wave after work, chilling with Wave. Like it was certain like little coworker events happening after work. And you know, I would pull up and I would be like around Wave. Well, it wasn't even a whole bunch of events. It was probably like one, two events or even one. Actually, I'm dragging it. But you know, people were starting to kind of sense like, oh, is Wave and Alicia like fucking with each other? Like what's going on? Da, 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 da. Cause like, I, I wasn't like, I wasn't like Wave, he, he, he one of them dudes like, he looked good and he know he looked good and he know he could pull any girl because that's like, Wave is fine and he's a whore too. He's a whore. I found out he's a whore, but another conversation for another day. Here's the point where I was like, I'm out. It's done. I'm, I'm not doing this for the rest of my life. I'm too bad of a bitch to keep doing this with this man. Like, and if we want to, if we really want to get to the, to the logistics, Wave was very much like, a 9.5 out of 10 and crazy was very much i ain't gonna violate crazy nah crazy's like a 7.5 out of 10 he was he's a 7.5 out of 10 but like what made him a 10 out of 10 was i have feelings for him his d was fire and he was my man so that's what made him a 10 out of 10 but like off the walk up he's a 7.5 out of 10 like he's not ugly but he's not a dude that He's not one of them font, like you're not looking at him like, ooh, this nigga fine as fuck. You're looking at him like, okay, he, he cool, he all right, he all right, let me talk to him. Like, let me talk to him and see what he about. Let me converse with him and you know, let, let's see what the personality is him. Here's the point where I was like, yeah, no, right? So I already told y'all I was already turned off, already like, ugh, not feeling this situation, don't wanna do it anymore. I remember it was like the night before. I had got off of work. Now this Applebee's, it always closed at either 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. So this was a day where we had closed at 1 a.m. And y'all already know like, well, if you worked in a restaurant, you already know just cause the restaurant closes at a certain time, that does not mean you're clocking out at that time. So very much often, like if I was getting off at those one o'clock days, I was not getting home until about 2.30 a.m. Like for real, for real, because I might still have a few tables and then we have to clean our section and then we have to do the money. Like it's a lot working in a restaurant, y'all. My people who who are servers, y'all already know. Boom, it was one of those nights, came home. 
madly and I called um crazy out of courtesy right because I really oh and mind you I got home late too because after work I was smoking with wave like so I finally get home and I call crazy like literally after I'm already showered and ready to go to bed and it's like at this point I want to go to sleep I don't even really want to be on the phone with him and crazy he's just moving very suspicious he's he's really very suspicious of me honestly because he's like how is it that you now calling me and all you want to do is go to sleep? Because I was dead ass tired. I wasn't even really fully tired, honestly. Like, I could have stayed on the phone with him, but I just did not want to talk to him. Like, I was over the relationship. So, I'm just on the phone like, where's my phone? Let's say, like, you know, I'm on a FaceTime call, right? I'm on the phone like, yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> And he's just staying on the phone. He's not trying to get off the phone. And I'm fake sleeping at a point now, right? He's just on the phone, just still watching me, like, just on the phone. And eventually he hangs up. I'm like, oh, oh thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for hanging up. Because, like, that's how you know, like, you're really, you've outgrown a situation, like, where you don't even want to be on the phone. Like, I was good, love, enjoy. Like, now. Now it's the next day, right? And I had work, um, let's say, no, yeah, I think my shift started maybe about 4 or 5 p.m. the next day. So I had time to talk to Crazy in the morning, right? Okay, so me and Crazy, we're on, um, we're on FaceTime, right? And it, I think it was like as soon as he answered the phone, he was in his bed, right? In the bedroom, right? However like no wait did he answer i don't remember if he answered the phone when he was in the living room or the bedroom but he answered the phone right and he was in his bed either he was in the living room or went to his bed in his bedroom or he answered the phone in the bed right and when he answered the phone and he was in the bed whatever the, the order was he was laying on the bed right why did I see a glimpse of Fezbo laying on the bed too? Like, at this point, you're done. Like, you're done. Like, I'm already done. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep doing this. I'm not gonna keep doing this with you. Like, I, I'm, I'm not. Like, because it just, like, y'all are too comfortable over there. Like, even if he was just laying on the bed for two seconds, because I think he went to go talk to her to ask her what she wanted for breakfast. Girl, this is too much. This is too much. I'm not, no, I'm not doing this. So, I'm like, I'm like, crazy. Like, was you just laying in the bed with her? He's like, nah, like, I, I wasn't laying, what you mean? I wasn't laying in the bed with her. You see, I, I just br briefly asked her what she wanted. I'm like, suck my <laughs> I'm not doing this no more. I'm not doing this with you no more. No more. No more. I, I'm, I was like, yo, I'm done with this relationship. Click, hang up the phone on him. He's blowing me up, blowing me up, sending me text messages. I'll insert him here where he, he basically trying to say, Alicia, I wasn't. I don't care because I had a link up set up with wave for like i think i don't know if i cut that out from the last part but that's the thing too like let's say it was like um let's say it was like a wednesday i had a link up outside of work set up with wave for friday so this was perfect because i didn't know how i was gonna link up with wave without crazy blowing up my phone and obviously if you're not answering your partner's phone it's because you're probably cheating on them like you know what i'm saying so I was like, um, yeah, this is done. I'm, I'm breaking up with you. Crazy is trying to, trying to do everything in the book to get me to be like, Alicia, no, I'm not doing this. I'm done. I'm done. Right. I don't remember if I told y'all crazy had given me the keys to his crib at this point now. Right now, everything I would probably remember. Let me get the phone y'all. Oh, here we go. My God, the phone is like, you ain't turn the phone on in mad long and just start tweaking. Okay, so I'm about to get into some text messages. This is August 10th, 2019. Oh, what, what day of the week was that? I don't know what day of the week. Actually, August 9th, August 9th, y'all, 2019. So boom, 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 boom. 
So remember, I just gave y'all a whole setup of how I didn't want to stay on the phone, whatever, whatever. Girl, we about to walk through everything that just happened because, oh, I can't even show you the phone because his phone number is there and no, we're not even. But I'm going to put it on the screen too. So he's like, so we done? Okay, cool. Have a nice life. Believe what you want. If you would have stayed on the phone last night and I fell asleep, you would have peaked the activities. I'm stressed enough with other things. I don't need your insecurities adding to my stress. I'm insecure because you got Fesbo living in your house. Like, who would it be? It, like, he's crazy. So he's like, when can you give me my keys back? Because now he wants the keys back to his crib because I'm telling him I don't want to be with him no more, right? So he was like, if you think I'm lying so much, go look at her story. She was working on her bees. She, she says it on there. Plus, I make mad. I had to make mad calls and make breakfast. Why you think I was brushing my teeth when you called? I just ate. F out, F out of here. You could give me my keys back and leave me alone. And it's like, sir be for real look at her story her story is not going to show me the full night that like no so i tell him i'm like i need some space i'm not happy i said i need some space right now i don't feel happy he says who are you talking to mind you he's probably already assuming that i'm talking to wave right he but he's like give me my keys back mail them mail them or do whatever you have to do because i'm tired of this back and forth with you i'm over this just give me my keys go be happy i'm not gonna you're not gonna i'm not gonna let you stress me out any longer so i said shit is so much bigger than what you're saying but okay they'll get mailed to you i'll send you a pic when i mail them he says whatever you're entertaining someone just be honest and i was like why do i i was like why the do i have to be entertaining someone else to not be happy like he's like oh you said it yourself if you're gonna keep getting accused you might as well do something yeah i might as well because you keep accusing me of cheating on you and i never cheated bitch we were good days before you drew your own conclusion because we were we were good for a few days we were good for a few days like what so i say you don't know how how you don't know what goes on in my head and how i feel days not months not the years i've known you listen to yourself he says go i don't care i'm tired of you stressing me out if I've, after i've showed you countless of times i only want you alicia yeah. <laughs> whatever alicia go be happy i'm done i had a double delay and i got no sleep because because you want to think what you want i tell him I'm unhappy because I'm tired of putting up with this shit at my age. You've had your time to live your life carefree. I haven't. I feel trapped because you feel one way about me and you feel like you found the one and you know you want to be with me forever and I'm not entirely sure of, of all of that. Then he says, I knew it. You you just want to be young. I knew you would do this as soon as you turned 21. I knew you going out with your friends and partying, this would happen. And now you're not sure? F out of here. Yo, give me my keys. We don't have to talk anymore. Go and enjoy your roof. Your roof. Your youth. Try not to rack up too many bodies. I said, damn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> But basically, um, the man starts going on like a bipolar tangent on me via text message. And it's like one moment he's cursing me out, the next moment he's begging and pleading. And it's like a back and forth. And it just comes to a point where I just stop responding because it's just like, I'm not gonna like, I already made up my mind. You can think whatever you want to think. You you talking about, oh, you, you want to be young, F out of here. Yes, I do want to be young. I want to be young, wild, and free. Free from you and free from the shackles of crazy, crazy lopolis. Okay? Hey, guys. I look a mess. But um, I forgot to say when I was recording, too, that when Crazy was going on like this bipolar tangent, he was also saying that he told Fesbo that she had a month to move out because he refused to lose me to her. Sir, really? Like, it's a bit too late for all of that. Like, don't you think? Like, all of this back and forth and arguing and now you refuse to lose me to her? Like no and not that i care about fesbo at all or her well-being but i'm not a b-i-t-c-h i'm still a human like you really had this girl leave the comfort of her own well not her home her parents home okay and had her leave the state that she was in to move to new york and you probably told her whatever you told her 
to tell her she had a month to leave like why would you even move her in like you're so weird <laughs> like I, I, I'm, I'm like no like no yeah i made up my mind i don't want to be here anymore i no longer love her here i don't want to be here i would rather start over with someone than continue living my life dealing with you and the bs to be honest like no so boom i had went into work that day and i don't think i meant i think i don't think i mentioned it in the last story time or maybe I did in the one that I recorded that I'm re-recording, but whatever. Anyways, so boom, I had went into work that day and I had just stopped responding to his messages because I'm just like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like, leave me alone. I already made up my mind. I broke up with you. I want to mess with Wave. I already knew, like, I already knew, like, me and Wave was going to bump and grind. Like, I wanted it. Like, he, he was giving big D energy. It definitely gave. So I already knew I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I made up my mind, like, I'm messing with Wave and in order for me to take it there with Wave, I have to be single, period. Like, cause I'm not, like, I, I don't, I don't want to be a cheater. I, I'd rather leave you and then go f on whoever I want to f on, right? So y'all, why I go into work, right? Why would my coworkers come up to me, right? And I got a story time on this bitch cause she's an op too. Like I have, well, I'm not saying that they're current ops, but they're ops for the sake of past purposes whatever so this girl come up to me we gonna name her hallie and y'all gonna see why so <laughs> remember the name hallie for a story time maybe in the near future i don't know so hallie come up to me and she like yo alicia um your man just called that gentleman that you were with mind you hallie was like hosting right i'm like huh she like, yeah, girl, your man just called the job and he was trying to see, like, if you was actually working today or not. I texted him so fast. I got it right here, actually. Look, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I'm going to, like, cut the, the number. Can't make this up, y'all. Can't make this up can't 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 make it up so that's what happened mind you i had already broken up with him at this point so it's like i don't really have much to talk to him about so now boom he's in the text messages crazy's having a mental breakdown because i feel like he knew especially because i was entertaining wave like he knew like he just seen me slipping through his fingers and he was having a mental breakdown right so boom I winded up linking wave. I didn't smash on the first link. Um, <laughs> Cause you know, I'm not that type of girl, but you know, even if YOLO, whatever. But I ain't smash wave on the first link. Okay, so we just chilled, we got drunk and you know, it was, it was a good time. It was a good time for the times. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, the whole time I was chilling with wave this night, crazy was blowing up my phone like i had to put my mess on do not disturb i think i eventually turned off my phone because i'm like nah like he's bugging like wave probably sitting there like oh that's probably her man who keeps calling her phone like crazy is cursing me out to bring him his keys right and it's like i don't know what day of the week did this all transpire right because now we about to get into the sugar honey icy we about to get into the bs Oh yeah, like he was like when he was having his bipolar breakdown, he was trying to say, oh, I'm the best you ever had and will ever have, period. <laughs> You're the best thing I never had. Oh, I I bet you. Wait, what's the lyrics? I don't know the lyrics. I bet you feel dumb right now. I know you want me back. Will you ain't take the fact that I'm on my way? I don't know. I forgot the lyrics, y'all, but y'all know that song, okay? I'm the best you ever had and will ever have. You're on crack cocaine. Y'all back smoking crack? <laughs> Crazy, if you are watching, I am so glad I ended the relationship with you. I, that is the best thing I ever did for my life. End the relationship. So now we make an agreement, cause he was like, Alicia, no, I, w I just wanna see you one last time before you know you go off with your life. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like crazy, no, I can, eat, I can mail you the keys. You're bipolar as hell. Like, I, I don't know what I'm gonna be walking into. I'm not, he wanted me to come all the way to his house to um drop the keys off and mind you, 
the day he wanted me to drop the keys off, the night before, I was with Waze, okay? And I didn't even really sleep that night, so I slept into the whole day. He wanted me to go all the way up to West just to drop off the keys. I'm like, I'm not doing none of that. And I think by the time I woke up, it was like maybe about five o'clock. So I'm like, all we have, like the time that we have, is gonna be enough time for me to just link you by your job and drop off the keys like that and that's that but i'm not gonna have enough time to go all the way up to your house which i'm glad didn't happen with <sighs> dv trigger warning coming up soon so if you can't handle that i don't know what to tell you but the, the craziest part of this whole series is about to come up momentarily right crazy had work at 11 p.m this day at this point now, did I tell y'all it's the beginning of August now at this point? Yeah, okay. So he had work at 11 p.m. So the plan was, I told y'all we had this little Ethiopian restaurant that we would go to over there, right, in Soho. So the plan was for me to link up with him in the city, in Soho, at the Ethiopian restaurant. He was gonna get whatever closure he needed to get. I was gonna give him back his keys and go on about my business, right? Okay. Cool. Mind you, y'all, I've told this story a million times already, but this is y'all first time hearing it, but I've told it to several different people because this is this this mess was crazy. I and I've been I've been waiting to tell this story for so long, and I'm so glad I got a little following now because I promise y'all, if crazy reaches out to me about this series, I'm exposing him and y'all could do what y'all want with the information because y'all already know how much ain't shit of a man he is so I dare him to come and bother me about this series because I'm exposing everything don't let me anyways all right I go to the city we link up and I think I met up with him like near the train station area like or like on the way to the restaurant so um we're like walking to the restaurant right and this is summertime in NYC y'all so I don't know if y'all ever experienced summertime in NYC I don't know if y'all ever heard the saying of we're the city that never sleeps because summer in New York is a zoovy like people is outside 24 hours we is outside we're in the streets like everybody's outside in the summer in New York so it was very active and let's say at this point let's say it was like nine o'clock because the sun was kind of like setting at this point and in new york, i don't know where y'all at but in nyc in the summertime this the, the the sun tends to set like 8 30 9 latest so it was like around this hour right and now we're walking to the ethiopian spa right now we're walking through and if you know how soho is set up it's mad little bars mad little, or just the city period just has mad little bars and just stuff going on like everywhere right so we're walking through the streets right and crazy is kind of giving me like delusional energy because it's like he's moving as if we're still together like he's moving as if he didn't cuss me out cuss me clean out call me all types of jezebels and everything before i pulled up and meet up with him like he's just moving on some bipolar weird stuff he's like um he's trying to like put his arm around me and stuff and he's like telling people make way for the queen make way for the queen because it's like people in our way as we're trying to walk and i'm just looking at him like like do you think like this is about to be another one of those situations where we break up and get back together because it's not like i was breaking up with him and i knew that i was done like i was like i was done like I, I don't know what he thought was about to happen y'all if my lips look different i just did a little touch up refresher off camera because when i be talking like it be smudging out and it'll be looking the same as how it looked in the beginning so yeah whatever anyways so boom now we're in the restaurant we're talking or whatever and crazy he's just being like i don't want to say he's being like lovey-dovey but he's kind of being like lovey dovey like with me like he's being like all the energy that he had in the text messages is not what he has in person with me like he's just being very nice very gentle and everything like that and i'm just confused because i'm just like mm, mm. it's giving bipolar like it's given bipolar and yeah so now now we're wrapping up we're getting ready about to um leave the restaurant because I don't know what time, I don't remember what time the restaurant closed, but the restaurant was closing up and it was coming towards 
like let's say it was like about 30 minutes or 20 or 30 minutes before his shift at his job was about to start now i already told y'all in the last part that he worked overnight and da 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 and then when he would work overnight he would start at 11 p.m right mm, okay so boom now we're about to um we're wrapping up whatever whatever and crazy was like actually alicia i want you to keep the keys i want you to keep the keys to my apartment you know because we had came to some type of agreement that we would still be friends or whatever and that was me just trying to like i guess work with him because he had me feeling bad for not wanting to be with him anymore like he was like oh alicia you could have just left me alone the same things that you could have did with me but you chose not to so whatever so whatever i agreed to like okay we could be friends whatever right so now at this point um crazy's like oh, oh you know alicia i want you to keep the keys to my crib you know in the event that you ever have anything going on at home you know and if, if you need to get away like you know i want my doors to always be open to you da, 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 da. so now he's saying he want me to keep the keys the same keys that you don't cuss me out for to come and meet you to hand into your hand so i'm just sitting here like did this man really just waste my time like i could have stayed home in my bed instead of getting on the new york city subway and coming here to meet up with you to give you keys back that you cursed me out for and now when i come back here and, and now when i come and link you to give you the keys you telling me to keep the keys so i'm looking at crazy like i said like, crazy like are you sure you want me to keep these keys and mind you i should have just been like no i don't want these keys right i should have just been like no right are you sure you want me to really keep these keys He's like, yes, Alicia, I want you to keep the keys. Da, 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 da. I'm like crazy. So you're not going to like change your mind tomorrow and be on some bipolar mess and curse me out for these keys. You're, you're not going to do that, right? You're not going to do that. Alicia, no, I'm not going to do that. Like, I, I want you to have, I genuinely want you to have the keys. I'm sorry. And da, 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 da. And I'm like, okay, crazy. Like, okay, well, please don't hit me up expecting for me to move how you want me to move because it's like i'm single like I, I don't want to be in a relationship with you anymore and it's like i don't want these keys to be something that's binding me to you like but if you're telling me you're cool with us being friends and you're still gonna give me the access to your crib cool whatever stupid so now we leave in the restaurant we're about to we're actually we're like about to leave the restaurant no 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 we're leaving the restaurant we're walking out now right so we're walking and crazy i'm like yeah i don't know if i said i'm about to go home or whatever the case may be but basically the topic came up where crazy is basically like oh so you, you're not about to come back to my job with me crazy <laughs> Where, when was that a part of the agreement that we made? Like, you called me here to bring you your keys to your crib. There was no conversation that I would be coming back to your job with you and spending the night at your job. One. Two, we are no longer together. So no, I'm not coming back to your job and spending the night at your job that's something that i would do if we were together but we're no longer together so no i'm not i'm not doing that like no i don't even have any clothes i don't have none of my toiletries or anything like that so no i'm not coming to spend the night at your job he's like well alicia i i let's let's go find a store i i could buy i'm like crazy no i'm going home girl this is this is the beginning of the end at this point okay so crazy is now visibly irritated that i'm telling him that no i'm not coming back to your job with you i'm going home right so he says something along the lines of oh so, so what, what, what you trying to link that then right you trying to link that right and i'm like crazy no i'm going home like i'm going to queens like you know and mind you we're walking like towards the train station at this point now right and he's walking with me so yeah this is where we're at right the train station is this way his job is this way but he's walking this way with me going like not back and forth with me but we're having like you know a normal conversation discussing the fact that 
I'm about to go home and I'm not about to go back to his job with him. So he's like, Alicia, but like, cause, cause now he's just trying to like, now he's just trying to like beg and plead with me and beg me to stay and go back to his job with him. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like, what are you not understanding? I don't want to be with you anymore. Like now I'm starting to get a little in my voice. Cause it's like, I just told you, like, I'm not coming back with you. So now we're still walking towards the train station, right? We walking towards um, Broadway Lafayette, my New Yorkers, if y'all know where that's at, right? So crazy, he starts grabbing like my wrist, like, and he stops me from walking. And he's like, Alicia, like, please, like, can you can you just listen to me? And da 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 da. He's trying to give me every reason under the sun as for why I should stay with him and why I shouldn't leave him. And I'm telling him, I've already made up my mind. I don't wanna hear what you have to say. I've made up my mind. So he's grabbing my, my wrist like this and the way he grabbing me like, do y'all see my wrist? My wrists are tiny as hell. And your grown man ass is grabbing my tiny ass wrist. And I wasn't even as strong as I am now because y'all, I be working out and I be lifting weights and shit. So <laughs> don't get punched. No, let me stop. Let me stop. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I hear grabbing my wrist, trying to stop me. Like we're literally in the middle of the sidewalk. The, the, the train station is probably about like 20 more steps. You know, let's say like 30 more steps. He not trying to let me go to the train station. I'm like crazy. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. He's like, oh, oh so sorry, sorry, sorry. And I continue to keep walking because it's just like, let me go. Now, you know, he said, I don't even know what he's saying. Just a whole, but it's going in one ear and out the other because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything you have to say, my love. I'm so sorry. So now, boom, now we're at the entrance of the train station, right? And every, my New Yorkers, you already know, if you've been to New NYC, you already know, like, the train station is down below underground right so we're at the entrance at the top where we still outside so now we're by the entrance and now crazy is not letting me go into the train station now right he's not letting me go into the train station and he's like tugging on my wrist and i'm like crazy you're hurting me you are hurting me all right so sorry so and i'm like nigga, like i'm like like so what you not gonna let, 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 let me go home like what's going on so I'm walking down into the train station. Guess who's following suit behind me? Crazy's Looney Tunes self. <laughs> now we going into the turnstile, right? He swipes me cause he's like, oh, I, you, you don't gotta pay, I'll swipe you in. I'm like, all right, cool. Crazy swipes me into the turnstile and guess what he do shortly thereafter? Swipes himself into the turnstile, bitch, okay? Now, if you don't know what the turnstile is, here's a picture. That's the turnstile, right? That's when you put your Metro card in so that you can go and go on your designated side. So I go to Queens Bound side because y'all know I'm from Queens. Queens is the money. I'm going to Queens. Like, you talking about, oh, you about to go to Wave. Wave lives in Brooklyn. I'm not going to Brooklyn. I'm going to Queens, to my house. Crazy swipes himself in. And I'm just like, at this point, like, now you're dragging it because you're dragging it. Whatever. Now we going downstairs. He, he's walking with me down to the Queens platform where the queen's trains is at now we're sitting down on the um bench that you know them little benches that them little wooden benches that be in the train station y'all but i no longer sit on them benches especially after the scamdemic happened I, I i do limited touching limited sitting on public transportation because i'm like a germaphobe now especially them train station benches if y'all come to new york do not sit on the train station bench i'm telling y'all you don't know what is on there chlamydia could be on that bench Miss Ronk could be on that bench. I, the benches is nasty. I don't be sitting on those no more. But whatever, we were sitting on the bench, right? Because just my luck, when we get down there, right? Um, the Queen's train that I had to hop on, it's talking about the next one don't come for another eight minutes. So I'm like, oh my God. So now I gotta sit here and listen to crazy, talk my ear up and talk my ear off and give me every reason as for why I should stay with him. And I already know I don't want to stay with him. Like I made up my mind. Like little do you know, I linked Wave last night. You talking about, oh, I'm going to go see Wave. I was with Wave last night, my love. And I, oh. <laughs> like for real, like. Okay, now it's time. I'm, I'm going to give y'all y'all daily examples for this story, right? Okay, so let's say I'm sitting right here, y'all, right? And Crazy is sitting to the next sitting next to me to the left of me crazy sitting to the left of me right so he's like this 
Oh, I gotta, gotta get another prop. Hold on, I gotta get a prop. These are my keys, y'all. These are my keys, right? So boom, I'm sitting right here, crazy sitting right here, right? He's like, Alicia. Just rambling on like, and I'm just like, yo, I'm about to tell this nigga to take, the, like, I was like crazy. Um, If you don't stop talking to me, I'm gonna cause a scene in this train station. Like, I'm just letting you, I'm giving you a fair warning that if you don't stop talking to me right now, I'm gonna cause a scene. And you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Gemini, <laughs> Gemini season. When, when, when we say we're going to do something, we're going to do it. I don't know why y'all be thinking like we, y'all, y'all be saying, oh, not y'all, but people be saying, oh, Gemini's, we're two-faced. No, 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 no. It's, it's never gave two-faced. It gave, you're going to get the nice version of me and you're going to get the not so nice version. That's, that's my two, the twin thing. That's my two things when it comes to that Gemini shit. Okay. So I said what I said and he continued to in my ear. So I'm like, <laughs> Mad loud. Girl, when I tell you my voice was echoing through the whole train station, people's looking around like, who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Looking around trying to see who's yelling. Girl, this ignited a fire. Because as soon as I said, leave it alone. All right, let's pretend I'm crazy now. I'm crazy sitting right here. Crazy gonna go shove the shit out of me. And he shoved like, my arm type mess. And I'm like, never did you just shove my arm cause I told you to leave me the f alone after I told you that if you didn't stop talking to me, I was gonna cause a scene in this train station. Never did you just do that. So I took the, I don't, wait, actually, did I take the keys out before? I don't remember if, oh no, I'm missing a part y'all. Okay, before that y'all, I was already gearing up and telling him to stop talking to me. And I was like, yo, yo, take the keys. He wasn't, he wasn't trying to take, I was trying to give him the keys. He was like, he wasn't trying to take the keys. I'm like, yo, take the keys. Take the keys. I don't want them. Cause, cause, cause now you're bugging. And then that's when I had said, okay, if you don't leave me alone, I'm gonna call the scene. He, he shoved the shit out of me. Right? So when he shoved the shit out of me, I was like, yeah, it's not giving. Like this is not giving. I'm not. I'm not doing this with this man. Like, I, I, like I don't even want to do this right now. Like I just want to go home. So I have got up. Mind you, when he shoved the shit out of me, the eight minutes had passed at this point. Now the train is coming into the station now, right? So I'm like, oh yeah, and the train is here. Like yeah, let me get up and go and get all of my belongings and dip up on out this hall, right? I'm walking to go on the train, right? Now it's it's doo doo. It comes into the station. My New Yorkers, you already know, it comes into the station. The doors open. This is the Queensbound F train. The next stop is West 4th Street. Okay, that, that's, what, that's what I'm hearing when I go on the train, right? So I walk away, I go on the train. Girl, let me show y'all what I did. <laughs> let me show y'all, okay? This is, this is a, a seat on the train, right? I go on this, and I'm walking. My back is turned, right? My back is turned. I go and sit down. Why would I sit down and look up? Guess who's on the train? Guess who's on the train, bitch? <laughs> I, I I couldn't I couldn't believe it. I'm I'm looking at crazy like crazy. Cause now I told you it was about 20, 30 minutes before he had to start work from when we was leaving the restaurant and walking to the train station now, right? I'm like crazy. It's 10.50. It's 10.50. Why are you on the train right now? I'm like, bro, get off the train before the doors close. Get off the train. He's just looking at me. I'm like, oh, nah, he's bugging. <laughs> like, you're bugging. I'm like, yo, crazy. If you think you're about to follow me all the way to Queens, you got you got this whole situation up bro so you want to be late to your job you want to you want to play with your money that's on you but i'm going home so at the time y'all um i had these beats headphones right you know the ones that go over like the real the old school johns right but they're not old school because they beats and beats is new school whatever right so i had put my beats on i'm like yeah <laughs> he's bugging 
Bro, girl, this was the exact phone too. This is the exact phone, exact case. So I'm like, yeah, he's bugging. Like, <laughs> let me just, and I just go on my phone, right? Because he's still, Alicia, 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 trying to get me to um listen to him and I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Like, so boom, I'm on a train now, right? And I'm just like, mm. all on my phone, not paying attention to him. Why does this man gracefully take my beats off of my head? He's like, Alicia, listen to me. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, don't touch my sh Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch my, don't take my headphones off of my head. Don't touch, don't touch nothing. Don't touch nothing over here. Mind you, it's people on the train, y'all. Cause now at this point, I'm tight. I already told you, if you didn't stop leaving me alone, I was gonna cause a scene. So now I'm about to talk to you like you some random dude off the street. I don't care. I don't care at this point. Cause I already told you, leave me alone. And it's like, you done followed me to the train station at this point. You keep talking gibberish. You keep talking yang yang bullshit in my ear that I don't want to hear and now you just follow me onto the train and you start work in T minus 10 minutes you're bugging now you're bugging so now now I'm about to show you my ass now I'm about to show you my ass and how I would treat some random stranger on the street yeah now I'm about to do that right so I snatch my shit back I'm like don't touch me and don't touch none of my shit so I go back to um press play do 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 on my phone on my phone right the man takes off my headphones again Like, touch my shit again! Touch my shit again, bro! Like, stop, stop touching me! Stop touching me! And girl, I don't know if y'all know, but like, New Yorkers, and I'll attest to this too, we are known for minding the business that pays us. Like, like an average, the average New Yorker, we see stuff like this going on in the train, and we do not engage, okay? We do not engage at all. But it was one nice white man, whoever he is, wherever you at, God bless your heart. This white man intervenes because the situation is starting to escalate now, right? So this white man intervenes and he was like, Miss, like, um, are you okay? Like, are you okay? And before I could even answer and say anything, Crazy turns and looks at the man, he was like, don't ask, don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. Don't ask her if she good. Don't ask her if she good. She with me. She good. She good. Mind you, it's like I see like a little bit of rage in Crazy's eyes. Like he looking a little bug eye type. Like like the like his eyes about to poke out of his head type mess. And I'm like, um, mm -mm. I'm like, no. Somebody need. I'm like, no. Somebody needs to ask me if I'm good. But when he had asked me this, we we had got to like the first um stop, right? So the man was getting off the train anyways. Like he was just trying to make sure I was good before he got off the train. And I'm like, no, somebody needs to ask me if I'm good because I'm not good. I'm not good. The door's closed and now we moving on to the next stop, right? Boom, get ready, get ready. So now crazy, he's still doing his in my face, right? He's like, Alicia, take the keys. Take the keys. I'm not, I'm not making this up, y'all. Take the keys. And I'm sitting down and he's standing up above me. And he's like, Alicia, take the keys. Take the keys. I was like, crazy. I moved his hand. I'm like, crazy. Put the keys in my face again. Them shits is going flying across this train. I promise you. Put them in my face again. Put them in my face again. Guess, guess what crazy did? Guess, time stamp it, time stamp it, y'all. Time stamp it. Guess what crazy did at the seconds, minutes. Alicia, take the keys. Take the keys. Take. Oh! Shove the keys up your ass. How about that? So yeah, that's what I did. I grabbed the keys and tossed. Like when I took, and everything that I'm about to get into right now, y'all, everything that happens um, next happened very quickly, but it's being stretched out because I'm explaining the details, obviously, right? And you know what inspired me to take the keys and throw them? It was a scene um, from Love and Hip Hop where Tommy and Scrap was arguing. I think he had brought her flowers and she had ripped up the flowers. So that was what was going through my head when I had took the keys and threw them, right? All of this is one motion, y'all. I take, the, we're, we're coming into the second train stop. The train stops. 
I grab the keys, throw them, and, and, and he didn't lose them keys by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. Because if I would have waited a second or two later, them shits would have fell in between the crack. Y'all know that little crack between the platform and the train? Yeah, that would have fell right there. Because when I threw them, the train doors open and it fell right by like the little step entrance that you gotta step on to get on the train, right? I throw the keys, the train doors open. Crazy grab. I told y'all I was sitting like this, right? So I was sitting like this, threw his keys like this. The man takes my phone and proceeds to pick up the keys and step one foot off the train as if he's about to get off the train with my phone. You're on crack, co my love. <laughs> like, crack. You're on crack, you're on, I, 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 I don't know what you're on. You are on K2, K2, bitch. Like, because I told you to leave me alone. I didn't tell you to leave me alone and take my phone with you. The phone that you did not pay for, you never paid for, and you never paid no bills on this phone. So why do you think that you could just hop off the, off the train and take my phone with you, sir? Girl, like I told you, this is all one motion now, right? So instinctively, you know what I'm saying? It's the same, like, I kind of move the same way. If somebody was to, like, hit me, I'm instinctively punching you back. Or if you push me with a little too much aggression, I'm instinctively pushing the shit out of you back. Like, that's just a reflex at this point. He takes my phone, bitch. Let me move back. Because I got to show y'all, right? I'm sitting. I'm sitting. I was like, where? He had a... Um, crazy had a book bag on, right? So he had a he had his little his little work his little work book bag, right? I grabbed this y'all know the little um thing at the top of the book bag where you be hanging the book bag, right? I grabbed this by the book bag. I said, Girl, where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. You can get off the train, but not with my shit, ho. Not with my shit. So I grab this nigga, right? Right? And like I told you now, all of this is happening in a matter of seconds, right? Okay? I grab crazy. He turns, grabs my headphones off my head. So now he has my phone and my headphones, right? Grabs my headphones off my head and throws me. <laughs> and throws me off the train. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. Mm -hmm. Throws me off the train. Catapults me off the train. I go, let me show you how I go <laughs> when I was catapulted, okay? I go like this. I go like, <laughs> like I might as well all in. All in, hey, hey, I might as well have did that. I go stumbling, bitch. I go stumbling. And it's like, it's not even registering, reg registering to me like what had just happened, right? All I'm focused on is getting my belongings back because I need those to get home safely. And, th and that's my personal property. Why do you think that you can just stop me from going home and take my personal belongings with you? Like, you're literally insane. You're literally insane. So all of this happens, y'all, right? I look back. And by the time I look back, y'all, it's people sitting on a train. I just see mad people's faces like, <gasps> looking in my direction, like, <gasps> like in pure shock, like, oh my God. Because again, y'all, we was just on the train going back and forth. So I know people had seen us going back and forth and now this man, and I don't even know what that looked like. It probably looked crazy. Yo, if TikTok was TikToking, okay, TikTok was a thing, but wasn't what it is now. If TikTok was what it was now, I guarantee you I would have wound I would have wound it up going TikTok viral. Look, look, oh, I would have been on Subway Creatures. Y'all know that page, Subway Creatures on Instagram? That's all the nonsense that be going on in the NY City, NY City, New York City subway. 
I'm like, oh, that must have had to look bad. <laughs> that must have had to look bad. But I wasn't even focused on that. I was focused on trying to get my phone and my headphones back. All of a sudden, y'all, my phone flying past me. Like, fl like he threw my phone in my beats as if this was like the Super Bowl and he was trying to make the last touchdown. Like, that's how hard he threw my stuff. I'm cussing up a st Matter of fact, let me let me get the receipts for y'all. Let's see if my friend is going to answer the phone. So so she could see how real, how real this... Y'all could see... Not even she. Y'all could see how real I'm not making none of this up. I'm about to FaceTime my friend. I'm about to FaceTime love, y'all. Y'all remember love? Hopefully she answers. Y'all, God, let her answer. Answer. Hey, What's up, bro? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yo, bro, so you remember when um you threw me off the um train and yeah. I called you? Yeah. Oh, okay. How was I acting? Um, I'm not gonna lie, bro. You were very, like, frantic. And you were just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I remember you telling me people saw it, too, so you felt embarrassed as well. It's like a lot going on at once. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted... Because look, look, look. <laughs> what's good, y'all? What's good? Say what's up! Say, you, do you want them to know your government? I've been calling you your code name the whole time. It's okay. Say what's up to Boomy, y'all! That's her real name! Say what's... Well, y'all can't see her. But yeah, y'all heard it straight from the horse's mouth. I called her when this whole shit happened, y'all. Anyways, let me get back to recording. Um, I just wanted to include that in the video. <laughs> what do you think, bro? Alright, later, later. Later, later. So y'all heard love. I'm so glad she answered. I manifested that, right? I'm so glad. So y'all know, like, I'm not making none of this up. Like, bro, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My headphones and my phone go flying past me. I'm frantic. I'm going crazy. It's just a lot going on. It's just a lot going on. I don't know where where crazy went because he done disappeared into into the into the into the wherever, right? So now I go upstairs, right? And when I say I go upstairs, I don't. When I go upstairs, I'm not outside of the train station. I'm just on the upper part of the train station, like not where the tracks is at, right? And at this point, y'all, this is what I do. I'm gonna try to find a um. I'm gonna try to find find the sound effect, okay? So so that y'all can see what I did at this because at this point now I don't know what type of monster I'm dealing with. You looking bug eyed? You looking crazy? You're doing absurd ish? I, I don't know. I don't know. So at this point I have to protect myself. So this is what I did. Nine one one, what's your emergency, please? Yes. Um, I have been assaulted. I have been assaulted on the train by a man. And da -da 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 -da. I start, girl, yeah, yeah. Called, called the boys on him. Called the boys on him because now I just, I don't know what you're capable of. Like, you really just physically assaulted me on the New York City subway and let your emotions... A 30 year, a third, no, he's like 32 at this point. A 32 year old man, you let your emotions get the best of you like this. Not because I provoked you, not because I put my hands on you first, but because I no longer wanted to be with you. This is what you do. It's giving when a narcissist realizes they no longer have control over you. This is what they do. You lash out, you get violent. And granted, I did get violent with him before, you know what I'm saying? But I never got violent with him because he no longer wanted to be with me. Like, whatever. So I'm on the phone with the cops. I'm explaining to them what happened. Da, 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 da. This is how you know I was done done too because it's like I'm not even a cop caller and it's like I know the type of lifestyle that this man lives. He already had an open case y'all. If y'all didn't watch I bailed my ex out of jail. I'm referring to that the case that he got from when he got caught up with that situation. You already have an open case. 
that's pending. You haven't been sentenced yet, but you out here doing DV-ish on the New York City subway. That's how you know I was really done because it's like, I don't care anymore. I don't care to protect you from the cops. Nothing like, no, I have to protect myself at this point. So I'm on the phone with the cops, right? I told you I was upstairs, right? Why does, like, I swear this man had been hiding behind a wall, one of the pillars in the train station because I was looking around to see if he was there and I'm thinking he just ran out the train station. No, he was hiding. He was hiding, bitch. He comes out of nowhere and he runs because there's another train coming to the station, the same type of train that we had just got off of, right? It's another train coming into the station and he's he he runs past me and runs down the stairs mad quick to go hop on that train. And he's like, you, you calling the cops on me and you know my situation? Why would you do that? And mind you, he's running and saying all of this at the same time. And I'm on the phone with the cops like, <laughs> you, yeah, put your hands on me again. Put your hands on me again. They're going to hear. They're going to hear. That just craziness, y'all. Craziness. Craziness. <sighs> This, this was a night, yo. This was, this was a night. This was a night that I was not like, I was not expecting this night to go like this, like for real. That's when I, I called the cops or whatever. I go back downstairs. They're like, okay. Cause they had asked me where exactly I was at. I told them where I was at and I was on the phone with love or y'all know her government name now, Boomy. So I'm on the phone with Boomy crying just saying that everything that had just happened right so the cops have finally came and i was like all right boomy i'm gonna call you back she's like all right bros stay up da, 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 da. they're asking me what happened what's going on it's like two cops right and i'm telling them da, 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 da. and they're like okay um so we're gonna write up a police report oh hold on let me let me let me get that too but um as y'all can see the text the text messages and the police report adds up right let me just Hold this right here. What it, what does that say? Eight, eight, twelve, twenty nineteen. Police report says. What does that say? It's a little faded at this point, but um, West. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it says West Fourteenth Street. That's the train station it happened at West Fourteenth Street. And what does that say? New York State domestic incident report okay they was like yeah this is a case of domestic and harassment and they seen how distraught i was they was like yo like just stay away from this man like stay away from him i'm like y'all don't have to worry about that like he did all of this because i no longer wanted to be with him like after that i was like i'm never speaking to this man ever again in my life you will never, you will never get anything else out of me ever again. These are the messages that he sent me shortly thereafter. Mind you, I told you he started work at 11, right? Look, look at the times. I'm a, um, I'm a block, I'm a block off his number. Wait, hold on. Y'all see the times? Y'all see what he's saying? Y'all see what he's saying? Oh, I, right. oh, I, right. just in case a bitch thought I was lying. I'll cash app you 300 for your headphones. Then you won't ever hear from me again in life. Have a nice life. Confirm or it's a dub. My biggest mistake is letting you back into my life. You never cared to love me. You just wanted to get even. Because that was his whole thing. He swore up and down that I just wanted to get even with him for all the things that he had put me through. And it's just like, sir, it's not even like that. Like, I got back with you because I genuinely wanted things to work out. But I had came to an awakening and realize that things between you and I will never work. They will never work ever. And God did not want it to work. Okay. God wanted me to learn my lesson and carry on so that I can run into my King who I still haven't met yet. I still, where, where he at though? Where he at though? Cause, cause it ain't crazy. He's messaging me the same type of stuff on Instagram. Block, 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 block block i don't have nothing to say to you leave me alone right so now the next few days now crazy is calling me like and when i tell you he's calling me he's blowing up my phone off of text free numbers calling me phone calling me phone calling my phone calling my phone calling my phone calling my phone back to back messaging me i know you're off today i'm coming to talk to you i need to talk to you i have to make it right we could be cool 
I know I'm not going to stress you out or abuse you verbally. I'm past that. I just want my friend back. We can watch shows together and do what we used to do. I just need you in my life. Snowfall is a good show. I'm right, I'm watching right now. You should check it out. Can you please not hate me, Alicia? Let's get back cool, please. We don't have to be together. You're on crack. Let's get back cool. Look at what happened when I tried to be cool with you. So no, you're not getting anything from me. You're getting my ass to kiss and kick rocks. Kick rocks, ho. Like, I, I, I don't want this situation anymore. I don't want this situation. I don't want this relationship. You violated me on the public. Like, you have violated me so many other times before this. Okay, and for you to think that you're still gonna get access to me as a friend, as a whoever, as a whatever, you're crazy. You have you you have violated me and embarrassed me for the last time. I am done. And there was like a whole bunch of other stuff that he had sent me, but I had deleted the text thread because I didn't want to look at it. So this is the only like text free text text thread that I do have. And he was calling me for like a week straight. All of that happened, what, what what date was that? That was um August 12th. Y'all see the date here, August 19th. This was the day where I finally responded to him too. And I finally like let him know to stop contacting me or else da da da, right? So it was this day, August 19th, y'all, right? I just had finished getting um my poom poom waxed because I was about to sit on Wave's face this night. <laughs> So yeah, I was getting ready to, you know what I'm saying? And I had just finished getting a wax or whatever. And here we go, crazy is blowing up my phone from the text reads. And I know it's him because the text messages that I'm getting and the phone calls are like the same like numbers, but he keeps switching like the numbers up or whatever. Cause I think I had kept blocking them and he kept making new numbers and calling my phone. So I have finally answered the phone. Oh no, no, I don't think I answered the phone. Oh no, 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 I didn't answer the phone. I had sent, I had sent him this text message, right? I had sent him this text message. So I'm gonna read it to y'all. So this is what I said. I said, listen, I'm gonna need you to stop contacting me and leave me alone. I filed the police report, something I really ain't wanna do, but it's done. You put your hands on me in public, harass me, and you're still harassing me when I have made it nothing but clear since the day you did that, I don't wanna speak to you. No, we not about to be friends and watch shows. All of that is clipped. So I'm gonna need you to be a grown ass man and get over it and leave me all the way the F alone. You are too toxic to my life ain't nothing you can say that will make this right or change how i feel you ain't popping up to my crib because i'm not even home and try me watch me call the cops on you again keep contacting me and i'm gonna move forward and get an order of protection and a restraining order against you ain't test me if you want now leave me the alone i'm not speaking to you after this day you'll have law enforcement to speak with to speak with you instead because you're gang crazy You're crazy. He responds, I'll put it on the screen. I'm not reading all of that, right? And I think that's when eventually, I think he started calling me and I was spazzing on him. Like when I tell you, I remember this, I was walking from, um, I was in Forest Hills, my Queens people, y'all know where Forest Hills is at. I was at Forest Hills. I had just went to the Fridays over there and I'm walking from Fridays and I'm on the phone, like cursing this man out in the middle of the street. It's people looking at me like, because I'm in the middle, like, it's like he, like, this man has brought me out of character so many times. Like, have you ever heard, like, the person you're with, they're supposed to bring the best out of you and not the worst? We bought the worst out of each other. And I was just tired, right? I, and I had told him straight up, if you don't leave me alone, I'm taking things further than just a police report. I'm letting you know. Obviously, crazy has a thing where he doesn't believe the things that come out of my mouth because for some reason... He didn't believe that your girl was actually gonna take things up a notch, right? But for the most part, that was the end of the relationship, y'all, right? And I'm so glad I re-recorded it because my energy is way better for this last ending part because I'm telling y'all, when I was gonna giving tired in the pre-recorded stuff that I had before, it was giving tired. So yeah, y'all deserve the upbeat, fully wide awake Alicia, okay? Now that was August now, right? So I had tell him all of this, I tell him off and I, and I said what I said. And I really thought like, okay, this hold, this held the man off. And it's like, you know how like, if you're freshly going through a breakup, you might be going through like that depressed stage and everything like that. I didn't go through that with crazy because one, the relationship was over before it was over. 
two, to get over someone, you gotta get under someone else. So it was like, I wasn't worried about crazy at all. Like, I just wanted him to leave me alone. Like, honestly, I wanted him to leave me alone. Like, I was done. Like, I made up my mind already that this was a situation I no longer wanted. I was good. Like, I was done, 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 done. Like, washed my hands clean. Like, I washed my hands so much, my hands is ashy, bitch. Ashy. So now, um, it's a few months later now, right? It's October, okay? I come home from whatever I was doing, right? And my mom is home and there's like this big um, box sitting in my dining room. My mom was like, oh, you ordered something? You got a package, da 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 da. I'm like, package? I didn't order anything, girl. Oh yeah, I'm putting plus receipts in the, in this, in the title of this story time because we got a whole bunch of receipts. Girl, why I open the package, right? I open the package, it's a brand new pair of Beats and it's the um, James Charles makeup brushes. Brand new set, girl, that set probably cost like $150, right? And this, this. <clears throat> so I, as soon as I opened it, right, and I seen the items in the back, I automatically knew who it was from because the return address, it was, and you know, was crazy. The return, not to say his name, right? The return address, y'all remember Shay, Crazy's cousin that he was staying with? It was Shay's address on the return address on the package, but it didn't have a name saying who the package was from, but it was Shay's address. So that's how I knew it was crazy too. And obviously because of the contents in the package and this letter, right? Let's read the letter class. Okay. I'm gonna just put it on the screen briefly. So y'all can pause that, read it. I told y'all the thing that he was saying, right? Olive juice. So I knew it was him, right? And honestly, Y'all probably wondering, oh my God, like that was so, like, I don't know, some of y'all probably thinking it, some of y'all probably like Fuck that. And some of y'all probably like, oh my God, that was so sweet. And da 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 right? At this point, I have read the letter. And mind you, my mom was in the living room when I'm reading all of this and whatever. And I have read this and I had just started crying. And my mom was like, Alicia, like, is everything okay? Like, what's, like, what's, 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 what's going on with you like and I'm like that's when I had told my mom everything right because the last my mom had heard of crazy was the whole situation where I slashed his tires hashing and slashing and slasher I never told her that I got back together with him I didn't tell her about the train station situation and da -da 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 -da. I didn't tell her about any of that and Y'all probably wondering too, like I always bring up my mom and I never bring up my dad. That's because me and my father have an estranged relationship. So I feel like that's a part of the reason as well as for why things persisted. If I'm using that word in the right context, I'm not really sure, but correct me respectfully if I'm wrong. Why things lasted so long because I didn't have, a, up until maybe about two years ago, I didn't have a male figure or role model in my life because my dad was not there for me my dad like I know who my dad is I was raised with my father you know for my youth but when it came to like teenage years and up my dad was not present in my life the way that he should have been so there's a lot of things that as a man my father should have taught me and this is why I feel like this situation happened too because I had to go through this situation to learn to never let no man ever do me how crazy did me ever again in life, okay? My father didn't teach me how a man should be treating me, so therefore I had to learn it the hard way on my own. So if y'all wondering how I allowed all of this to happen, that's part of it too, how I feel. So let's go back to what I was talking about. I had told my mom, hey, this is what happened. This is what's going on. I went back to him, da, da 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 right? My mom was like, okay, so what do you want to do with the gift? Like, do you want to send it back? And I'm like, okay, well, if I'm sending it back, like, I'm not sending it back, like, to the return address because I know it's not really from this address. I would send it to his house or whatever. But even then, it's like, he's so unpredictable. 
I don't know, like, is he going to take me sending it back as a response or, or is he going to take me not saying anything as, oh yeah, she, she kept the gifts. And like, we was just trying to figure out what to do with the stuff. So I think it was like that night or the night after my mom had took me to the precinct near we live. We had told them everything. Well, not everything, but we gave them a brief summary because obviously we couldn't tell them everything. We have a six part series and every ep like this is like a, like an actual TV show at this point. Right. So um, the police officers, they was like, listen, you know, you can because I had told my mom, like at this point, I want to file for order of protection because this man is unpredictable. He knows where I live. He knows where I work and he knows where I go to school. And, you know, he hasn't popped up yet. But the fact that it's two months later now and he's sending me something, he's not respecting my wishes of leaving me alone. I don't need you sending me stuff like because you're sorry. And I just I just want you to leave me alone. All of that happened in the train station because you just didn't respect me and leave me alone. But as we know, we're dealing with a person that didn't respect me from day one. The whole relationship, the man didn't respect me. We go to the police station. I tell them like, yeah, I want to file an order of protection. The police was basically like, um, yeah, you would have to go to family court and file a petition for order of protection and everything like that. And da 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 da. And my mom was like, okay, Alicia. Oh, and what they said like regarding like the gifts that he sent because it's technically a gift. They was like, well, it's a gift. You can keep it. You don't have to send it back. Like that's under the law of whatever they explain. I could keep the stuff and I don't have to respond and I could still file the order of protection. So yeah, I kept all of that. I kept the brushes for sure. Thank, thanks for the brushes crazy. You gave me some nice, good quality brushes and shout out to James Charles too because they was the James Charles brushes. I move forward. I'm not gonna show y'all all of that paperwork because I don't need y'all trying to pinpoint anything. But yeah, I move forward with going to the courthouse, family court filing a petition for you know an order of protection crazy was served he had to show up to court and everything and it was just a mess like it was just i'm not gonna get too into the details because i'm ready to wrap this up at this point we had went we had two court dates right the first one we had um, where everything was just newly getting discussed. Mind you, I didn't have no real lawyer because I can't afford that. <laughs> like, honestly, I had a public defender. He had one too because, again, he still had a whole open case, right? Or I don't know how... What, oh, no, no, his case wasn't open. This is how I found out it wasn't open, right? So he got his public defender. I got my public defender. And I think like we had wrapped up like the first proceedings or whatever the case may be. Me and Crazy had to go into like a room with, I don't know if it was the DA or whoever to negotiate whatever we had to negotiate as far as this order of protection because the way it works, like you could kind of come to an agreement before the order of protection is actually filed, right? So that what was what was kind of going on and we're in the room with the DA and um crazy is like well I, I don't i think i have wrote it down did i write it down oh yeah yeah i definitely wrote it down in the folder he was saying stuff like this is unnecessary i have no desire to contact her and then he asked for a lawyer as well and it's like sir this is unnecessary. You have no desire to contact me. Like, are you dumb, stupid, or slow? Because the reason we're here today is because you had the desire to contact me. Stupid. Just because you didn't call or text my phone off of a text free, that does not mean that sending mail to my house when I told you if you contact me again, I'm going to go through with filing an order of protection against you. That's not not contacting me. And I already, it's like, sir, like I tell you I'm gonna do something and you just don't believe me because I already gave, I gave you a warning in the train station when I told you to leave me alone. And then I told you if you didn't leave me alone, I was gonna cause a fucking scene. Then now 
you sending me stuff in the mail, you could have kept that and you could have saved your money because all it did was bring you to court and having to deal with me. You talking about you got no desire to contact me. Sir, I promise y'all, okay, I can't say I promise y'all because it's been a few years. Like this year will make like this year. Oh, that's crazy. Like this year, this August and two months from now will make four years since I left this man alone. So I would hope that within the four years he has grown and he has developed into a better person and he has taken his experience from this situation and has made himself a better man. I would hope and pray. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care too much about him, honestly, at this point. Like, he can kick rocks still today. I have nothing to say to him. I want to keep things as they are. I, I have no... But I was just about to say, like, if I was to hit him up today, he would respond. But mm, I don't really know. He probably would. He might just to, like, see how I'm doing or whatever the case may be. But that's not even a can of worms that I would even want to open up ever again in my life. Like, I have grown so much as an individual since I left this man alone. Like, he would not recognize today's version of me. Matter of fact, he can't get next to today's version of me like your basura your old news sir here's how the case winded up getting closed i didn't wind up getting an order of protection i winded up just getting a no contact order because crazy this is if y'all peeped from episode five right crazy's trifling ass right so basically um when we got our public defenders or whatever the case may be and the, the DA was like, okay, you're going to have another court date that's set for this date, which was like probably like two, three months down the line, which was the next court date. And before we exited the court or whatever, and I was talking to my public defender and he was talking to his public defender, he sends his public defender over to me. His public defender had kind of like came near me and he was standing nearby. So like where he could hear. And she was like, hi. Know if you could possibly drop this, um, because he's on probation right now, and this will be something that will mess up his probation. You done lost your damn mind. When you get your damn mind, you call me. I was like, no, no, no. I don't care. I don't care. He should have thought about all of that before he did what he did. And I said that mad loud. You, you, you wasn't thinking about the fact that you had an open case when you decided to harass me publicly and put your hands on me publicly. You wasn't thinking about all of that. So I'm supposed to think about that you're on probation now. Fuck you and your probation. And you still have a year left. You still have a year left. You still have a year left. <laughs> you still got a, a whole year left. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No. I, I begged and pleaded for you to leave me alone and you didn't do that and I told you what I was gonna do so now I'm doing it period so now it's like this is what decided the whole factor of us like having the not the no contact basically he was begging and pleading can I drop it can I drop it can I drop it no I'm not dropping shit drop your nuts like I'm not dropping anything my lawyer slash public defender and his lawyer were in the room speaking with the DA this is the second court date now right they're in the room speaking with the DA and my lawyer had basically came out and she was basically like, hey, so basically the point that we're at right now, he's basically trying to say that if you don't drop your order of protection, he's going to file an order of protection against you because he's saying that you have evidence that you vandalized his car, but you paid for it. <laughs> I said, you're like, you're a joke, bro. You have evidence that I vandalized your car, but I paid for it. Cause that's the only thing that you got on me, bitch. That's the only thing that you got on me that I vandalized your car. But I have receipts for days on you. I have receipts. And it's like, you. that's the crazy thing too, because it's like all these years later, I think back, if I wanted to really like expose this man, to the courts i could have easily done that like i have so much dirt of the criminal activity and if crazy if you're watching you know exactly what i'm talking about you know exactly what i'm talking about but obviously i'm not gonna get on camera and say it but you and i both know 
if crazy's watching the dirt that i really could have ex like i couldn't f probation the stuff that i have on this man could easily send him to prison like that's how real it is but did i turn around and do all of that no all i wanted was for the man to leave me alone and you turn so that means you never deleted that voice note or the recording of me admitting what because you you saying that you have evidence that I vandalized your car. That means you never deleted the recording of me. And, you, and you, oh, remember, remember from part five, I deleted it. Okay, after I gave him the money and, and, and left myself broke. Just a whole, just a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. So my lawyer was basically like, listen, you know, we probably won't be able to get the order of protection. Cause it's like, I don't want to order protection on my name either. I'm not trying to be, cause the whole thing was that with the order of protection, he would have automatically been on the domestic violence list and that would have bing put a red flag in the system under his probation. But again, that's not my problem. You should have thought about that before you put your hands on me on the New York City subway, period. That had happened and went through with the um no contact order. It's basically kind of like an order of protection, but not as serious with an order of protection if the person calls you or contacts you through any third parties anything like that you call the cops let them know that this person contacted you they get arrested immediately no questions asked but with the no contact order i have to basically go through court file a report through the courts and i have to wait for something to be done versus the order of protection things happen immediately they they arrest you ask questions later so i was like whatever i just need some type of documentation that shows that this man needs to leave me alone. Like, I just need that documentation. And they granted the no contact order. And I remember, like, we was in the courtroom. Like, my mom was outside, like, in the waiting room. But we was in the courtroom, and the judge was reading off everything. Do you understand? Do you understand? Da 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 da. da. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Do you understand? Nobody. I, I'm like, listen, y'all don't got to worry about me calling this for shit. I will never call him ever again in life and i remember like we was like i was on one side and he was on the other side and i'm like sitting there like wow like we went from like being in love oh y'all heard my stomach your girl's hungry but um we went from like loving each other being in love and whatever the to now it's like we in divorce court like <laughs> in court to to really solidify the ending of this situation and i remember i was like sitting there and he was like on the left and i remember like i just wanted to take like a little look at him because i just wanted to look at him like one last time and i remember like i was sitting there and i was just like looking at him like this and i felt like just me just trying to go like that a little he was doing the same thing like looking to the right Girl, I turned back straight so fast because I'm like, nah, I'm not, I'm, nah, I'm done. Like, you're, you're not about to have this moment and think that there's any leeway for me and you to ever, ever again in life. No. Everything got wrapped up. I signed the ting. He signed the ting. It's time to leave the court now. I was like closer to like the exit because I was on the right side. He was on the left. And... He was just trying to jet out of there, but he didn't want to walk past me unless there was like, you know, one of the lawyers or the security guards in between us. So he was just like, so they let me walk out first and walked out. I walked over to where my mom was at. He jetted out the bit, the building and I haven't seen him since. And that was like, that was 2020 actually. That was the very beginning. Like that was like a month before the scandemic erupted. That's, that's, that's the end y'all that's the end of my narcissistic ex series that's how the relationship ended that's how everything ended i haven't heard from crazy from that day on and i'm so grateful and thankful i have not heard from him because he will not be hearing from me i don't have anything to say to him and me being mature is me saying now after all of this i wish i wish him nothing but the best in life i hope he has found the woman that is truly for him and I hope that he has gotten his life together. I hope that he has learned from this experience with me and this situation because I have. <laughs> I have. I have grown so much from this experience, not even just experience this experience, but the experiences that have happened to me 
afterwards. He was very delusional to think that he was the best thing that I've ever had. No, the, you haven't. You were the lesson that I needed so that none of these other out here think that they would ever play with me the way you thought that you that you played with me no not the way you thought the way that you did play with me no i wish i would today i block it's some of these that's probably even watching me right now that's blocked i block i cut off like i just don't have the time like and can, and can you blame me for not wanting like i, I just be i be I, I be cutting people off too quick i'll be I, like one little thing i'll be wanting to cut a dude off type but um I don't know what else to say to close out this video. Definitely if you made it to the end, make sure you put this emoji on the screen. I'm gonna put, I don't know what emoji I got here, but I'm gonna put something that makes sense for the ending of this story time. And yeah, that was my Narcissistic X series, y'all. As far as what story time I'll do next, because now that the series is over, we're getting back to regular random story times. I don't know what story time I'm gonna do next. I might do a poll and have y'all choose what should I do next. Should I do the story time of he caught me text and wave or should I do something completely off topic? I don't really know. We'll see. But if you made it to the end, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. We at 3K on the road to 5, 10, 15, 20, 50, and 100K on the road to all of those. I appreciate y'all so much thank y'all for being with me on this journey i love y'all make sure y'all give me a big like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next story time Later.